Do you need content ideas for small businesses? Does coming up with posts for social media stress you out? Today, I'm gonna share 11 proven content ideas for small businesses, all right? Let's get into it. Hello, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If you've ever had to uh, figure out my social media on your to-do list, but it keeps getting shoved down because you feel overwhelmed or you don't know where to start or you don't have time, you're in the right place. Every week we put out a quick video helping you with a different piece of your digital marketing strategy. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And today I'm going to give you 11 proven content ideas for small businesses. A lot of times I hear people say, oh, well, I see what other people are doing, but that doesn't apply to my business. Pretty much all of these should apply to your business, no matter what your business might be. By the way, these are all ideas that my clients have had proven success with. And make sure you watch till the end, because I've got some bonus ideas at the very end for you, too. And one more thing, because I hear this all the time from people, oh, my business is boring, nobody cares. Every business is interesting in its own way. It might be boring to you if you do it every day. I want to give you an example. I worked for years in radio hosting morning shows on stations and got to interview huge stars, Ben Affleck, uh, Justin Timberlake, Taylor Swift, Garth Brooks. And even though listeners were interested in that, they were just as interested in the dumb gray room that we stood in to do the show every day. So the behind the scenes stuff in your business, whatever it might be, is more interesting than you think it is to other people. All right, 11 proven social media content ideas for small businesses. Let's go. Content idea number one, photos, videos, uh, profiles on your team members, your employees, your staff. This is what makes your company human, okay? You don't want people to relate to your company as a brand, you want your customers to relate to your people as people. So this is what that achieves. Now, if you don't have people or a team like me, I mostly work on my own for this, that's okay. Your pet can be your intern, the FedEx guy or the Amazon delivery guy or whatever. You know, if you've got somebody that shows up every day delivering packages, they're on your team. The barista at your coffee shop can also be on your team if that's where you go and work a lot of the time. So be creative, figure out those people. It makes great content. Number two, anniversaries, birthdays, celebrations. What is somebody celebrating? Birthdays are easy and obvious, but it could be the anniversary, you know, their fifth work anniversary. Or it could be something even more personal, like you or somebody on your staff has been, uh, you know, alcohol free for two years or whatever it might be. People love to rally for celebrations, so it makes great content. Again, you have a small team like me, that's okay. Utilize other people or utilize your customers or clients. They make great stories as well. Number three is ask questions. This is everything with Facebook's algorithm right now. You want to ask questions that people will want to comment on because Facebook loves comments. They also love when your audience comments back and forth with each other. I'll give you a little trick. And you can't do this all the time. It's really hard in some situations. But ask questions that are so juicy that if somebody doesn't have an answer for it, they still want to see what other people are saying. Random example that may not fit in your business or your brand, but if you asked, what's the worst first date you've ever been on? If I see that in my Facebook feed and I see there's 17 comments, I'm like, oh, I wanna see these stories. I wanna see what's going on there. Number four, ask for advice or suggestions. People love to help and feel like they're part of what you're doing. Um, hey guys, thinking about serving our burger with broccoli instead of fries, yay or nay? You'll probably get some passionate answers on that if you are a restaurant. Um, I've asked people about my video backgrounds and gotten their opinion on that. Uh, I once crowdsourced my haircut on Facebook Live because I didn't know what to do. It was a little um, humbling as people pointed out, well, you're thinning out on the sides there. <laughs> Okay, let's slow down. But anything you can do to ask for advice tied into your personality or more specifically your brand or business makes great content. Number five, give tips. If you're an expert in something, how can you help your audience out? Maybe you sell clothes online. Well, you can give people tips on how to match things up. Uh, I did have a wedding photographer once. I suggested, hey, why don't you give out photography tips? And they said, oh, I'm not gonna give away my secrets. I'm not talking about your secrets or whatever gives you your signature style as a photographer. Just help dummies like me take a better picture with my phone the next time I don't have a professional wedding photographer following me around. That's valuable to me, and I appreciate that, and your audience will appreciate that too. 
Number six, before and afters. Everybody loves a makeover, whether it's a person or a home or whatever it might be. But your before and after could also be um, if you're a baker, you know, here's all the ingredients and here's what I made with it. Um, even for me, a before and after might be here's what my recording studio looks like before I set everything up and here's what it looks like after I set everything up. Whatever your business is, there's probably an interesting before and after that you might be able to get at least a couple pieces of content out of. Number seven, local events in your area. If you are a local business, you are probably going to some of the same festivals and activities that people in your audience are. So it could be as simple as, hey, I'm checking out the taste of this city this weekend. Never been. Got any tips? These are all chances to start conversations with your audience, no matter what your business might be. Number eight, local sports. This is the chance to just basically jump on the bandwagon of something that somebody is already excited about. I have a client in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You better bet we post about Alabama football. Um, we have a client in Nashville, and we definitely posted about uh, Predators when they were in the playoffs. So you've got all these opportunities to jump on the bandwagon of something else. Don't fake it. If you hate sports, don't do that. But otherwise, by all means, you might as well take advantage of the local scene. Number nine, throwback Thursday. These still work. I know that might sound like a tired old idea, like, oh, we've been doing Throwback Thursday since 2009. Hey, that's a throwback there. But it works. Uh, I developed a content strategy for a chain of collision centers, and we decided on Thursdays we were going to start posting photos of classic cars. This was a Facebook page that was completely dead. No engagement, no reach. We started doing that. That was the birth of the page. And then we branched out from there with other valuable content. So Throwback Thursday, still a viable thing. Number 10, behind the scenes. What don't people normally get to see? Maybe you have an immaculate Instagram feed, but occasionally show something where your hair's messy, maybe on Instagram stories or something like that. If you have an immaculate storefront, but you have a, just a disaster of a storage room, post a picture of the storage room just to show people, yeah, I'm not perfect, it's a disaster back there, that's why I don't let you back there. That makes you relatable as a human. And right after idea number 11, I'm going to tell you how to get some bonus ideas. But idea number 11 is show the bad stuff. This makes people uncomfortable, and I get it. But you need to show when things go wrong in your business, too. Got a bad review? Make a video, read the review, and then address the customer's concerns. That will mean so much to the rest of your customers. Especially if you made a mistake and you just say, Hey, we had an off night. I'm sorry, we're working to be better and I really appreciate the feedback. That will go a long way for people. If you work in a restaurant, you drop a tray of glasses, snap a photo. Ah, we're not perfect. Boss is gonna be mad about this one. That's all great content that lets people feel like they're getting inside your business or your brand. So even though it might feel weird to share the bad stuff, it's again, what makes you human. So there you go, 11 content ideas for small businesses, but I've actually put together a longer list of 24 content ideas. You wanna get the whole list? Go to the link in the description of this video. It's totally free, I'm not selling anything. This is something that I give out to clients all the time and I want you to be able to have it too. 24 content ideas. Get the link in the description of this video. Want help adapting one of these ideas to your industry? Let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you there. Or join our Facebook group. Just search for 5-Minute Social Media on Facebook. Post it in there. We're having a lot of great conversations about social media, and I can help you out in there as well. You made it this far. I hope this video was valuable. If so, give it a like. Uh, hit subscribe. We'll put out a new video every single week to help you as you grow your small business. Thank you so much for watching 5-Minute Social Media. You not only support me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.